Away to Sandringham, Werribee was hoping for a quick start with the breeze. That's exactly what they got. The Tigers kicked the first four of the game, Corey Wagner setting the standard, while the key forwards were standing tall. Wilson kicks it long down the line. Oh, oh that's a ripper grab on the outer side. Kicks it long, Mackay. Oh, that is an absolute ripper grab from, uh, from the wing to centre-half forward. Ryan Clark was racking up the footy through the midfield, while Braden Proust gave his on ballers first use. Werribee gaining a 26-point lead. The coach, John Lamont, was happy with what he saw. You're in front because you're tackling and smothering and harassing and chasing <laughs> and you're not getting anything easy. Now, they've been out a couple of times and they're looking for the cute one and you're on it. That's why you're in front. But Sandringham hit back, booting six goals to one for the term. The Ruse young guns providing a rare highlight. Now they get the clearance here, the Tigers, through Clark. Has a run, the one-two, working out nicely. The ball will go back to Clark. No, it doesn't. They decide to go to Hussey. There was plenty of feeling in the game, with just five points separating the teams at the half. Brad Scott doing his best to motivate the North contingent as they bounced out of the blocks once again. From 40 metres out, Aaron Black has turned the tide there for the Tigers. That's an important goal. Will Fordham was having an impact all over the field, while another emerging Roo was influential in the third. Off to the races they go, two on one in Werribee's favour. Will the ball sit? It has to, running into an open goal and kicking it. Almost got uh, a bad bounce, I think it was uh, Sam Durden. But it was Wagner who provided the play of the day as Werribee surged. Collects the football, he looks good with ball in hand. Squares the kick, goes to the hot spot, black battling, doesn't oh. matter. Wagner's kicked the goal from the pocket. Going against the breeze in the final term was always going to be tough. Sandringham flying home for a 37-point win, despite some individual brilliance from Daw. Clark to Daw, talking about impact. Oh, the big man wants to take on everyone. Probably ran too far, probably threw it. Either, either way, it's come out the back, and Werribee answers with a goal. Then Black. Werribee going forward once again. Great body work. I think it's Aaron Black out there, and the mark will be paid to him. Has to move it quickly. He does, just chip it in, chipping it into the pocket to the goal square. That might bounce through. On the last line of defence, I think it has. It's gone all the way. For Tigers coach John Lamont, it was a case of what could have been. We fumbled, we uh, missed handballs, we missed kicks, we dropped marks, we competed in the air for the same ball. So it was um, a, probably a frustrating loss because probably the baseline effort was, was pretty good, but just too many mistakes with the ball. The match not without its positives, though. I was really impressed with Corey Wagner's energy that that he brought, kept the ball in our forward line and uh, yeah, did well. Wagner laid nine tackles with fellow draftee Declan Mountford providing plenty of run and carry. <laughs> While Clark amassed 30 disposals. I was pretty happy with my uh, own game. Um, just stuck to my focuses, work rate and and uh, tackling pressure, so I thought I achieved them. His uh, work inside's unbelievable. Been doing a bit of work with Zeeb, so that's definitely showing. Fordham himself had 21 touches, but his focus is not on the numbers. It's not really about the possessions these days. Um, it's more about that tackling pressure and all the pressure we talk about in the ones as well, and just doing the one percenters really. His efforts not lost on his teammates. I thought he, that was probably his best game all year. Um, just run and carry off the wing, played really well. Um, and yeah, I'm sure he's knocking on the door as well. Joel Tippett was also strong in defence, finishing with 13 disposals. He gets them organised in the back half and sets up our defensive shape and our defensive positioning pretty well. Ed Vickers-Willis another to make positive strides after a long time on the sidelines, with several strong marks in defence. Vickers Willis was really good actually, he, um, he's only a couple of games back as well so I thought uh, just his third up spoiling and, and um, just his competitiveness was really good. To basically miss 12 months and um, come back in, yeah it's great to see that he's playing pretty well. The Tigers have the bye next week. Rob Burton for nmfc.com.au